Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Victoria 2. I'm your host, Mr. India Lava. But right now, we have the greatest country in the world. All that prestige, all that industry, all that military power. But we can form the Raj, which I don't know if I really want to. The Rajput states must be collected into a single state, one which will far better serve our needs as a stronger ally. Which would be bad. I might do this at the very end just to see what it looks like. But for now, we're going to be okay. we got some comments to go through as well, says. So, for example, someone says, glory to the Qing. Absolutely. Someone else says, oh man, not being able to get gas defense looks so painful. At least you have so many armies you can just swarm the provinces while they can only catch so many. Also, what is preventing forming from China or forming China and accepting South Han? There's such a big party population. Love the series. Well, that's a good question. We can't form China because we cannot have uh, absolute monarchy, semi-constitutional monarchy, or constitutional monarchy. So basically, having a monarchy here is no good, even though we do have elections. Um, that's why we can't become normal China, which does suck. Um, and then get North and South on is accepted in primary cultures and release Mongolia, huh? Well, kind of sucks, but it is what it is. And so it says, can you show the culture map mode? I did earlier in the last uh, episode, and I think I'll probably show it again, honestly. I'll probably show this again um, as we go on. Uh, I thought that was already, like, Han. I'm like, wow, that's kind of nuts. Uh, let's see. Oh, the things aren't popping up. Usually, it, you just pop up. Let's see. Population density. Port level. Why is this so set on port level? Well, whatever. Um, anyway, this, we'll come back to this map mode at probably the end, if I remember. Which hopefully I do remember. Let's look at that. Huh. There's more Chinese people in Vietnam than Vietnam itself. Indo China, Indonesia, we're there, of course. But anyways, um, we'll form the Raj maybe at the end. But let's go to war with Portugal, because they're a bunch of F-words. And France is there, too, so... Oh! Look at all these things. War of Unification, you get two prestige, we lose a lot. Or we go Chinese Unification, we get no prestige, which requires only two war score. We could humiliate them for five prestige. Or install a democracy. I'm going to go with War of Unification. We've got all of our allies in, let's see, Zambia, it looks like will not come in, Canada will not come in, Chile will not come in, Uruguay will not come in. It's alright. I want to fight the French too, but they don't really have that many colonies. Canada exists? Oh. Well, whatever. Albanian effects. Oh, they're... Huh. Huh. Sure, guys. Eh, well, they want to accept anyways, whatever. France is a great power, but whatever. We do want to go to war with Japan as well. So. To Macau. Is there anything here that's French at all? I don't think there is. And we called on the Germans to help us out. They should do okay. Rupert's land, sure, why not? Um, then again, last time we did see that the Germans really didn't do that great. They did okay. Actually, we're not, we're not out that anymore, huh? That's weird. Pretty strange. Wow, that's a lot of sucks. Also, we're out with the Dutch as well, so that does help us out. There's a. Well then, how how's the war going? Um, France proposed peace, and I accept this. Oh, well, okay, why not? <clears throat> We'll see what happens. I mean, obviously this battle's not going very well. This battle's going very well. Enemy of my enemy? Sure. Uh, Bahawalapur has agreed to an alliance. Okay. I think we'll win here. <laughs> I think we'll do okay in the end. It won't be great, but... Yeah. Any more war goals? Oh, we could install democracy. I'd rather dismantle the nation, though. Then why are we just installing democracy? We're only constitutional monarchy. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, there goes our economy, too. Whatever. Come on, Germany, you can do it. Oh, there's second power in the world. Oh. Oh, we'll see. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. I don't know. It's just a test to see how, how much the Germans could do, really. We do have a ship, and we could send some soldiers over to Portugal, but how strong is Portugal? Eh, we're not extremely weak. Somewhat weak. And we do have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and warm as well. Oh, we're fighting Brittany? Okay. I, I really don't want to send my navy because it's just not very good yet. And we're saving for the Japanese. It's like the one shot we got. I mean, we have actually a lot of the techs already done. Um, where is our navy? Actually, we got so many up here. Let's see. 
153 ships. It's a little extreme, I know. But, it should work. And... don't really want to send them all the way over here. They might get sunk. We can try it, though. I was watching the Germans just kill themselves on, on the line. Actually, how's Russia doing? Oh, they still... Oh, they have rebels. Nice. Well, they went F-word. Oh, yeah, I think, I think the Germans will win him in the end. Well. Oh, we get no more war indemnities. That sucks. Alright, well. There you go. It's not that many taxes anyway, so. Nice. Yep, they're going to definitely win here. They mobilized. Six in the world. Now you probably mobilized two. And they're 13th. Wow. Hey! Now we can defend against gas attack in 1929. Yay! Yeah. Gene school is a force of curriculum? You betcha. We have almost no militancy. It's so good. Gosh, this is still going up, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, no, we should not here yet. Where are you guys at? Oh, you're going through the Gulf. Oh, we own that too. <clears throat> Look at the monthly population we got last month. Studio, telephone factories. In the last month, our adult milk population changed by a quarter million. Oh, oh, crap. Yeah, this, they're done. Address the Parliament. If you remember that, please go ahead. Let's do some consciousness. It's a bit high. They won't have as much of an effect on our militancy. And now we're losing a lot more money, too. Ah, uh, well, God. And we'll lower some of the spending eventually, too. It's just that we're at war, and I want to make sure we have enough. Oh, hello. We lost two ships. Uh, two transports. We sunk seven uh, capital ships, so that's actually really good. We made it. Amion? Address the Parliament? Oh, they were already fascist. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, we had one fascist coup. How about another fascist coup? Oh, I guess they weren't fascist, technically. They just had the fascist party elected. Give us a month, and I'll seal some of our ships, and then we'll send them out to blockade some stuff. Nice. Ah, cool. All German ships, um, naval organization, supply range. Not too worried about that. Main armament, more prestige, more attack. Uh, let's go with that one. All German ships are really good too, though. Yep, see you down. Uh, even though we're not even abreast yet. Uh oh, oh, hello. Oh, oh, wow. Are you fighting? Why are you, why are you at war with the Turks? Oh, to Brez. I went to Brez, huh? All right, whatever. We'll see these guys down too. Nice. Very good. Oh, hello. Um, I'm kind of okay with that already. Yeah. Okay, why not? All right, guys. You did great. Come back home. <laughs> we don't have enough infamy to absorb everything that they that they lost, but whatever. Um, I should come over to Shanghai. Okay, here. Form the Raj. And the state. Oh, yeah. That'd be nice. Very nice. Hey, making some more money again. I love war indemnities. Look at that. Just a little bit. Actually, since we're at peace. Because the next one, we're going to go... Wow. Turkey's really taking out Persia. Oh, Persia looks whole again. That's kind of nice. Look at that. Treaty of Paris. War's over. Long with the Qing Empire. Um, we should still be building up more divisions, technically. Biggest economy in the world still. It's very nice. Um, I want to see what's going to happen. We might have to release a couple... Oh. The Macau Treaty Port. Yes. With the administration of Macau, we abolished opium trade and expelled the old foreign administration. And as a result of these harsh policies, trade fell considerably and many European vessels don't stop in Macau anymore. Oh, well. Now, Germany did most of the stuff. If, I, if we don't get anything out of the war against the French, that's fine. I don't care. Did they get territory down here, too? No. No, yes, maybe they did. Huh. Did they get anything else? Belgian Champagne. French Champagne, that sucks. Um, Italians are still... They never did... Oh, they have tanks. They, the Italians never did really well, well in this campaign. They just always sucked, so... Oh, look at that. There's a bunch of fascists in Poland. But it's Danish Poland. Um... Uh, oh, hello. Turkey... T Tibet. My Tibet? You guys just hanging out up there. Um, go down there maybe? Hang out? Nice. Oh, there's ships. Gonna take a while to make, but that's okay. 
probably get some more of this stuff to enforce the teaching curricula. Yeah, I definitely gotta get more of the army tax too. But we're looking okay. Um, I'm not sure what else we can do for the French. It looks like their empire was not really ever that big. Oh, that's not good for those guys, but who cares? Patient land. Um, yeah, but anyways, I'll see you when we invade the Japanese. It's that time, my friends. Now, we couldn't dismantle the Japanese, um, which kind of does suck. But so we, I said, uh, okay, free allied corps? Sure, why not? What nation of our allies has a territory being held by Japan? Apparently, it's Cameroon. So they're protected by quite a few people, but... That's okay. Um, will everyone come in? Burundi will not come in. Oh no, Cameroon. Even though we're trying to liberate their own cores. Guinea, Zambia. Um, Canada will not come in. Where are they with Canada again? Eh, hey, whatever. There you go. So what happens if we just say... You know what, even before we send them on the ship. Let's come down here. And what if I said, come over here, and you guys come over here. And you guys come over here in Tajon. And we've got quite a few armies around here just kind of hanging out, having a good old time. Can we literally just invade Tsushima? That sounds like a bad idea. That sounds like a terrible idea, but whatever. Our population is still going up so much. We almost have 900 million people here. Insane. Ooh, that's good to get. Heavy armaments. Uh, that one. Now, I don't know where they're going to be spawning at. And I want to... Invading... These guys are going to be a pain in the butt. Let's, I'm going to be real. We do have 66 trans... Oh, hello. Wait, where's that? Of course they come. Oh, it's up here. Okay. Ah, I didn't realize that. That's a lot of armies. That's a crap ton of armies. Okay, if that's the case. Um, here. Actually, this general, is he good or bad on defense? He's actually okay on defense. This guy's really good on attack and defense, though. Oh, we can't get in there because of this. That's so stupid. Well, we lose that army, so be it. They won't be able to cross until we let them cross, so. Not so dumb. Yeah, their ships are going to be absolutely destroyed. Uh, if that's the case... What are all right here too? What happened to our other armies? Oh, you're all taking so flipping long, aren't you? And they're crossing over river, which is nice. He's really good on attack, though. But we're pretty decent on defense. Brunei, it's fine. I don't care about that. Um, transportation. Uh, I kind of like transportation just because or capital punishment it lowers the militancy. So I kind of want to wait for that one. Pensions. A few more population growth eventually. The pensions. I hope we're killing them all. I really do. I want them all dead. Ah, uh, show wars. We're minus 10%. That's fine. Whatever. Oh, look at that. Nice. We lost 11 transports. Well, actually, that's not very good. But whatever. It is what it is. Here, go repair. You deserve it. Hey, look at that. There are more guys. Because we got guys all around somewhere. All around India, too. Actually, come up here anyways, and then have you, like, you two come over here. At least we got Tsushima. That's nice. This battle might literally just decide the entire fate of the, the war. Like, we have more cannons. They have more infantry. We have They have a few more cavalry units. But with them doing that, that's not good. We've got a terrible dice roll. Leader defense is really good, though. <clears throat> All right, how's this looking? Give us another month. Good. Where are you going, ships? Where are you going? Actually, are you any good on attack and defense? Ah, oh, you're you're not. You're just kind of average. This guy's not good on uh, defense, though. Looks good. Nice. And now that you've been cut off, anything you can do about that? Hopefully not. Hopefully they're not invading anywhere else. Oh, austro Hungarians showed up, huh? Go figure. Slowly going up, slowly going up, but it's fine, whatever. Also, we maxed out spending. Yeah, we did. Need a few more dollars for the middle class. That's all. A few more dollars. Japan is ranked 7th in the world for military. Oh, would you look at that. Oh, you are running out of men. And you're going to die here. 
We don't have a lot of room for infamy stuff, so... China. Feng Shui Clique. Russia. Oh, yeah. Beat him up, guys. Oh, wow. The Dutch have really shown up. Post peace? No, we're not. we don't want peace. Oh, hello. The demand reparations? Nice. Ah. Oh, from Chile. Oh, yeah. Chile's in the war, too. I forgot about that. Well, the Norwegians have shown up. Okay. Patagonia. Wow, this is weird. I don't like this, how this ended up. This is disgusting. That's nice. Um, in the meantime, uh, more organization. We need that. America's been really disappointed in this campaign. And then again, I guess it did take out Cuba, but still. Forces under attack. Oh, no. Whatever will they do? You sent half a million Japanese soldiers to die in the the gra grassland hills of China. Huh. How stupid are you, Japan? Ah, uh, uh, so good. So nice. Oh, wow. He's really good on attack and defense. Holy crap. Oh, wait. We lost... Oh, Battle Cut. What the heck? Wait, do they have an army up here? See, this is the problem. I don't know where all the armies are at. Oh, they're up here, too. Oh, I see. They lost a lot of guys. We lost the battle, but Jesus Christ. Ah, there we go. Dismantle... Force them to dismantle their empire. That'll be good. All right, so I didn't realize they were up here as well, which does kind of suck, but whatever. We have 120,000 soldiers, though. So, um, in the meantime, let's just have you guys kind of, like, divide yourself equally-ish amongst all these different states. So, if anyone gets attacked, we can just move and shift stuff around. Um, I'm going to pull out you guys, just in case. Go to Cheetah. It depends where they're headed to. And... Yeah, try that. I'm not sure where they're headed, and I didn't realize that, but, you know, whatever. That arm's gonna die anyways. And then we'll start actually invading Japan. <coughs> cool. Oh. So also sieging them down? Nice. Hey, the Germans are showing up. Chile. Demand reparation? That's fine. Ah. Uh. Come attack us somewhere. I, I, I dare you to attack us somewhere. <laughs> Russia's by itself again. What a bunch of fascists. Ah, oh, war's upon us, of course. We just got that one? Oh. Um, transportation still, huh? Okay, low pensions. Alright. Ooh, that's gonna cost us a lot. Wow, that could cost us so much money. Tax the crap out of them. And give us some of this, too. Never mind. Go back down. Go down, boy. I'm gonna keep these guys here so they have nowhere to retreat, so. That's so nice. Alright, are we getting tech anywhere? No. Hey! Grand Battle Plan versus Superior Firepower? Nice. And we're getting invaded anywhere else. Like over here. Oh, you know what? I love that Kazakhstan took this all over. That's so nice. Maritime Union? Nope. Where'd they go? Oh, I want to see the results of this. Hello. Nope. Oh, we're worth Spain as well? Why? Well, okay. Whatever. What part of Africa do they own? Camera Japanese Japanese? Japanese huh. Upper Volta? Upper Volta. You, you, you. There you go, you know that. So, we wanted a piece of the Japanese. What do we have here currently? That's 96. Dutch won quite a bit. Oh, look at that. Nice. Sure, guys, that's fine. Ah, it's this nation that needs it. Now that, oh my gosh, almost roughly 700,000 Japanese soldiers have all perished here, versus 70,000 of our soldiers. China number one, my friends. How would you not accept that? Come on, man. How about you all go right here, and then you go right there. Oh, you guys, a lot of experience now. Go, and then I'm going to send you to there. Just in case the Japanese one moved soldiers through here. Um, additionally, some guy there. 
Because right now we're going to start sending soldiers over to um, the mainland. Sure, guys, why not? We'll hop in 1934, everybody. You guys are great. What happened to our ships? Oh, no, that, that's just the army covering them. Okay. I'm like, what happened? Okay. They're just here on the ships. I'm like, we had so many ships. What happened? That's a lot of soldiers. We don't need that many guys over there. Here, come back down here. We'll be fine. All right, come down here. See what you can do. Well, the Japanese, they lost a lot of soldiers, so let's invade. You all, no, you wanted war with us, so you will suffer the consequences. No, don't feel like it. Crucial states, we have influence on them, huh? It's nice. They must have a really big navy still. Now they're ninth in the world, huh? Beautiful. Nope. Look, stop asking. We don't even have tanks yet. Cool. And head there too. Hey, supply range, nice. Good stuff. Heavy armaments, might as well. Ah, good job, guys. Ah, there's Dutch. That's why there's so many. There's Dutch people here. Ah, hello. I'm glad I looked back over here. Ah. Very nice. Um, Force Japan to dismantle. Wait, so we have one, two, three, four. And they want one, two, three. Yeah. Wow, that was really fast. How did that work out so well for us? Yes, yeah, I don't understand how that worked out. So, as much as I want to take Japanese territory, I do want to see what it's going to be like when they dismantle their empire, so. Spread of Hunan influence? Well, that kind of sucks. So, what's going to happen? Are they, how are they going to break up? Are they, are they going to break up? Are they not going to break up? I can't believe we went over the war with them. The Treaty of Edo. Look at that. Nice. Oh, Dutch Africa. Long of the Qing Empire. Nice. Um. Oh, they're 26. Now, they're still great power, but I kind of doubt they'll stay that way. Japanese colonies, we take what we can. Um, sure. I'm not sure what they really have. Colonial education. It's fine. Oh, Asian farms and mines. I'm really not sure we got. We'll never enact women's suffrage here on this channel. I'm just kidding. We have on an occasion, but. Uh, we'll form the Raj in a little bit, too. Transcaucasia. Honduran Thaw. Transcaucasia. Shut it down. Add a sphere. Nice. And what was the other one? I can't remember. Coffee here, though. Official states. No one cares. So we still have this. Do they have anything else? I mean, we might have got some islands around here, too. The Dutch got some islands, I guess. Oh, they got Okinawa, too? That sucks. We saw soldiers kind of roaming around in Japan. Uh, here. Go home. Dadtong integrated? Nice. I just want to see if there's anything else here. In the meantime, we still have bureaucrats trying to make <clears throat> and improve the efficiency of our nation. Uh, we can probably do this too. We can probably lower spending by a little bit. There you go. Oh, we didn't tax the crap out of more people? Yes, please. Excellent. War games sound pretty good. Yeah, but overall, this campaign, it I was not looking forward to doing this campaign because I know China's not easy to play as but oh man by the end if you can westernize you become the greatest power in the world you can easily become the greatest power in the world rebellion and an ally yeah I, I don't I don't care we fought to get you liberated and then you rebel against us and you become a bunch of reactionaries oh great um what do they want generous good subsidies oh, I can have that that's fine yeah 
Not bad. Ita Ita Wait, that used to be Belgian. Ubangi Shadi, Chad is back. Okay, well, whatever. Did we, did we make... Oh, we did make some divisions here. That's kind of nice. Sweden? Wait, we have Sweden? I don't remember trying to get Sweden, but okay. Yeah, I guess we were trying to get Sweden, huh? I don't think there's very much else for us to do. As much as I want to take out everyone else in the world. Crack down on communists. Yeah, no communists here. Artillery support. Hey, we're done with all that stuff. Great. Culture. We should probably educate our people still. We're at 96% education. Or people can read. Which is awesome. Um, but yeah, we're looking really good. This is ridiculously good. America owns Davao. Okay. And how's Japan doing now? Because I, I, I don't think they have any colonies. The eighth in the power. And she's not bad. So yeah, overall, like this campaign, like I said, I was not looking forward to it. We're still losing 2,000 people a day, which is not bad. Um, just because I know how difficult it was. But after we westernized in the 1890s, like, 1880s and 90s, we almost have a billion people in China. Oh my goodness. Um, it was a lot of fun. Oh my goodness. I did not expect us to get literally number one in everything here. Military, prestige, industry. So, there's culture map mode. It's still kind of glitch, which does kind of suck. Eh, maybe not. Um, yeah, this is all turned majority Chinese, as expected. South Han, North Han, great. North and South Han up here as well. <coughs> Protests, more liberal, that's fine, whatever. Um, even up here, what is this? South Han, that's becoming more and more Chinese too. This says Russian majority, when I mean, it still is. South Han, eh, it's barely some Mongols up there too. Anywhere where we've taken over, because the conditions in China are so bad, people are just spreading out like crazy, which is awesome. Look at all that. Manchu and North Han and Uzbek and Kazakh and Russian and South Han. Like, the amount of internal migration we've had, you never get to talk about that. And this is so cool seeing all... Oh, yeah, I actually got done. So, social alienation? Oh, yeah. Let's isolate people. Um, and we're maxed out our geos. I mean, this is insane. I mean, obviously, it's the best. It hasn't really changed too much, but still. Like, this is awesome. I love this map mode. I hope in Victoria 3 they have something like this as well. They better. Uh, it's still pretty Khmer. Like, former Cambodia is still pretty Cambodian. But look at all this. Lao. It's barely Lao. 33% Chinese. Just a parliament. Excellent. Uh, yeah, I'll do that one. Even though Vietnam has come back quite a bit. Vietnamese. Even though we didn't make this a state. It's a literal state of ours. Uh, over here. Diplomatic tensions. Yeah, no. We hate you, Russia. Um, what is this? India. Che oh, Chechnya. Now we don't care. Yeah. Oh, Chechnya. Well, I guess Chechnya is here. <laughs> Good job, Chechnya. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love this map mode. It's my favorite map mode by far. I wish we could have gotten more Chinese cultures as actual accepted populations, but, you know, we didn't explode. Technically, you're supposed to explode and after you westernize, but I made sure we didn't. So, which is awesome, because I put down literally millions of other Chinese people. Like, literally millions. Oh, we're so close to a billion people. But here's the population-wise. 23% North Han. It looks like 15.5% South Han. We've got a lot of Indians, of course, which makes sense. Um, we believe a whole sorts of different stuff. We're mostly anti-military, huh? No, pacifists. We have a lot of socialists here, which is going to be an issue, but... Other than that, that's pretty much going to be it for us. Now, I do want to try this. I want, I've want. never seen the Raj form. Uh, so, we'll, tr we'll see what that's like. Would I actually do this in real? For not really. The Raj put states must be collected into a single state. Uh, and one which will far better serve our needs as a stronger ally. Oh, is that it? Raj put states? Become one? Oh. Asian farms and mines. Oh, okay. Well. I doubt the two nation theory. Oh! So, like, in uh, India. Pakistan, uh, Pakistan and India. From Pakistan, we can never do that because I think we continue to hold Kokin or something like that. We don't have Kazakhstan, stuff like that, whatever. Um, but yeah. I thought we'd actually form India. That sucks. Also, we did get a lot of the events saying that because we took out um, India, or took out the UK, and basically reduce them, or whatever they were, but who cares. Um, they all, like, swear allegiance to us for the most part, except for a couple states here, so which is really cool. Um, but other than that, yeah, not bad. Africa's a mess, as it should be. Germany was actually quite disappointing. Tensions in Crimea fall back. Lose prestige. I don't lose any more infamy, so. Regardless, hey, if you enjoy the campaign, please do consider leaving a like. I spent so many hours off on this campaign off screen, it's not even funny. But like I said, if you liked it, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know who I should play else as in the future. And I hope you have a great, great rest of your day.